There is hope on the other side without your cheating partner. I've never posted my story in detail on here, but I'm hoping that maybe someone comes across it and gives them some hope that life goes on, as this sub has been invaluable to me. I caught my wife of 15 years cheating this past year. It was the second time she had cheated on me in five years. After the first time, we reconciled after she begged me to stay and the marriage had a two-ish year honeymoon phase where it felt like we were totally in love once again. However, she went back into her pattern of leaving herself available to any guy that shows even the slightest interest in her. Her affair this year detailed her flying a man she was talking to on the internet to a conference she was attending in another state, which I found out about. Immediately in the aftermath, she indicated that the affair was over and that she wanted me to stay with her. We have two children, but I was torn as it had become clear this was a pattern, a cycle that could not be broken. In the month following that D-Day, I attempted to talk to her about the affair and my frustration with the whole situation. She responded with only gaslighting and blame shifting. Still, after a month, I told her that I agreed with her, that we needed to save our marriage. She, however, responded this time with I can't make that decision with you right now. I spiraled. How could this woman who had cheated on me and then indicated she wanted to stay with me put me through this? Over the course of another month, I did my best to save our marriage, but she still didn't want to consider counseling or talk through our issues. It was one of the most depressive months of my entire life. I began talking with some friends and family about the situation and their response was universally, what on earth are you doing, why are you trying to save a marriage that essentially has no hope? As I spoke with them, I noticed a shift in myself. That I started to change from I only want this woman to you can find happiness without her from what about my kids to your kids will do better in an environment where you are happy than one with such an imbalance between the two parents. One night, it shot through me like a lightning bolt, you need to ask for a divorce. I walked into our bedroom, where she was watching TV, and I said, I want a divorce. She responded with well if that's what you want. I do want that. I was terrified I would regret my decision in the days following and come back to her on my knees pleading to save our marriage. But I didn't. Instead, what followed was actually a very amicable and agreeable split. Funny enough, our relationship near the end of our marriage was probably one of the best points in our marriage. I think it's because I just didn't care anymore. I didn't care how she felt about me as a partner, I wasn't going to let her determine my happiness anymore. In all, I kept the house because she couldn't afford it, but she found an apartment nearby. We agreed on literally everything in our divorce so we were able to do dissolution of our marriage, so we didn't have to do a knockdown drag out fight over every little thing. We have 50-50 custody of our children. I'll get people going through this or possibly about to go through this some advice, if you can, and you live in a state where you can do a dissolution versus a contested divorce, do it. Absolutely talk to an attorney, but there's a lot of advice on here to get down in the muck and do a knockdown, drag out, but if you can come to a satisfying agreement between the parties, you need to do it. That said, always keep an attorney in your back pocket, don't be afraid, if you feel like your partner is being unfair, or there's an issue that you can't budge on, to use divorce to make sure you get what you want. But I can say, don't let the emotions of the affair feel like you need to use divorce to get revenge when you can likely come out much better on the other side if the process is amicable. I have started dating again, and I've actually met a woman that I really, really like. She is also someone who divorced due to an affair against her about six years ago. But most of all, there's no bullshit with her. She and I share love languages and can be open and honest without the bullshit that fed my marriage for so long. We're taking it one day at a time together, but this is the best I've felt about myself in a very, very, very long time. My kids have adjusted to the situation, and what I was terrified most about, that my kids would never adapt or feel resentful, are in fact thriving, kids are way more adaptable than we give them credit for. But I'm just happy. I'm truly happy, in a way I haven't felt. 
I make time for myself. I'm getting to travel more. I see my friends more often than I did when I was married. I get to make decisions for myself again. I've seen a counselor just to talk about this trauma in my life, and she has made me feel better. That I wasn't crazy. That I experienced gaslighting for so long that it's remarkable I could push through it. It may seem like you're in depths of despair in the aftermath of an affair, believe me, I know it. It may even seem more depressing when you have to come to terms with your marriage ending. But happiness exists on the other side. But you have to let go. You have to take your life back. And once you make that decision, you have to put that part of you in a box, take inventory, and move on. Your ex-partner is now in a relationship with her old affair partner? Who cares? That's not your life anymore. Your ex-partner is broken, likely irreparably, and they aren't going to change, and you can't let their brokenness affect your happiness anymore. They can go be broken, but not on your watch, and not in your emotions and your heart. Happiness is out there, and you may not find it immediately, but you can prune back the dead leaves and relieve yourself of the dead weight that's dragging you down. Because happiness you might find in a broken relationship with a broken person is just dead weight, and is likely temporary and will always keep you from achieving fulfillment. Take care of yourself, friends. Hope and happiness are out there, 